Off a dusty road in South Texas, nestled in a nature preserve, a sunken cave draws a crowd. Around dusk each day, the wildlife here perks up, signaling to the animals and people who visit. It right here, it's all set. They're in for a show. They're like coming out. It's an experience known as the emergence that literally envelops its audience. They're everywhere. There's so many of them. It's like unbelievable. These millions of swirling bats are on a mission. Furthest. Fran Hutchins, director of Bat Conservation International's Bracken Cave Preserve, says these Mexican free-tailed bats can eat nearly 150 tons of bugs a night. Not having bats is a world with a lot of biting bugs. These bats can fly as high as 10,000 feet and travel 60 miles away from this cave hunting for food, which in turn helps Texas farmers. Bat biologists have estimated these night flying creatures can save farmers billions of dollars in pest control. We built one and sure enough they started coming to it. John and Jimma Bird built a bat house after discovering they had several species of bats on their farm in central Texas. They're working every night, too. Don't have to pay them? Don't, they don't ask for nothing but a place to live. It's a win-win for the couple who farm organically. All the old-time con farmers used to say that the bats were good for an orchard. So what we're doing is not really anything so new. It's really something that's really old. Few actually witness the bats work since it happens in the dark of night. Back at Bracken Cave, they begin to return just before dawn. It's raining bats into the cave right now. Swooping into the cave they call home, only to resurface at the next sunset. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Como County, Texas.